Okay, I think I got this going. Okay. That was kind of strange with that last video. Things got really bright. But, okay. Um, I can't talk too much right now. Because I'm going to go to sleep. It's about almost... <coughs> let me see. It's about almost 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m. Okay. So, here's the talks I got to give. I can't do it right now. Okay. The problem with the humanity is that humanity is locked into the three lower chakras. Survival, sexual, and egotism. And those three lower chakras is what causes the, all the world's problems. It's because humanity is locked into that and they don't know how to truly access the higher chakras. There's a lot of talk about accessing the higher chakras and everything. <coughs> but talking about it and actually accessing it is two different things. So I meant to do a talk about that. The four higher chakras. First chakra is the survival chakra. Second is the sexual. Third is the ego. Fourth is the heart chakra. Okay. Fifth is the creative chakra, which is the throat. Sixth is the chakra of wisdom, which is located, um, symbolically speaking, right there, okay, in the middle of the forehead, right there, the, pitu the pituitary gland, but there's a corresponding nerve center around there, I believe. And the last is the seventh chakra, is what. Um, it's referred to as a thousand petal lotus. Okay, it's a very top chakra. It's a chakra of cosmic enlightenment. So basically, in order to um, go beyond the world's problems, human beings have to find a way to start <coughs> functioning at the four higher chakras. Okay, that's going to be really vitally important. Um, it's not that. A person disavows the three lower chakras because they're part of our human biological makeup. But what it is, okay, because it's just part of us, okay, you're not going to escape who you are. And nor should you try to escape who you are because this is who we are as a species, okay? But what it is is that when way too much energy is put into that, okay, it creates what's called an imbalance. Anytime there's imbalances, it causes a lot of all kinds of things which shouldn't be occurring. So the energies have to be put into the four higher chakras because the four higher chakras, the ego is no longer there. What I mean by that is that the level then a person's functioning at is, is going beyond the ego. It's not that the ego ceases to exist. It still exists, but there's no more power in it. Okay, It's just a, looked upon as part of the person. It's no longer looked upon as the totality of the person. See, the problem with humanity is that human beings are so identified with their egos that they looked upon the ego as the totality of who they are. And that's the biggest mistake on the face of the earth, okay? The ego is part of who we are, but it's not the totality of who we are. It's like the survival. The survival is part of who we are, but it's not the totality. The sexual is part of who we are, but it's not the totality. The ego is part of who we are, but it's not the totality. Because now you get your four higher chakras, which is called the heart chakra, the throat chakra, okay, right here, the sixth chakra, okay, the middle forehead, right there, and the seventh that was called the thousand petal lotus, okay, the cosmic consciousness chakra. Now, in those four levels, no one, okay, the person, the ego it does, is no longer there. There's no more ego at those levels. It's just a level that's just pure and much higher, okay? That those levels, those four higher chakras are truly in tune with what the infinite celestial cosmos is about. The infinite celestial peaceful cosmos is about. Because the infinite celestial peaceful cosmos operates con continuously on a harmonic uh, vibratory f frequency at all times. A perfect harmonic vibratory frequency. So that's going to have to be the next talk i got to talk about. Right now I'm kind of tired, but I needed to get it out there so people could understand what's happening, why the planet is so screwed up for, and everybody's going to have to find um, their own particular pathway, which works best in order to access those four higher chakras. And i got some ideas about that. 
despite whatever a person's politics is or religion or whatever differences, whatever it is, we got to get beyond these things because if we don't, we're going to mess up this planet so bad it won't even be funny. So I got some ideas. Right now, I'm going to go to bed and thank you for watching this. I do appreciate it.